look at how these teams pulled off successful seasons in the madness, uh, pun was intended. But mm -hmm. lessons can we learn about innovation and leadership but we, we can apply to our own businesses and companies? Yeah, I mean, you know what's been interesting, and I, I, I've had dinner with, uh, you know, there's a company out of Colorado called BioD6, and they're the ones that handled our, our daily testing. And if you talk with them, I, I've been just shocked that like a year ago, there was no such thing as a company that was in the COVID testing. It didn't exist. And so it's been a reminder to me, whether you're in banking or in sports or whatever the case may be, there are so many opportunities for innovation and creativity. So I've challenged our staff, are there businesses right now, business units, business opportunities that we as the Big Ten Conference should be exploring that we haven't even thought about? And, um, and so I just think it's a, you know, a reminder um, you know, for us and which leads to um, how, what the, all the things now we, re, we rely upon that we're, we're not even in our vernacular 14 months ago. And, um, and so I think what it showed from our conference standpoint and our student athletes and everyone involved is, you know, we have so much more room for kind of growth and to, and to be stretched. If you had told our student athletes 14 months ago or some of our recruits, hey, come to campus and you have to be tested every single day. Um, you know, there people would have not believed it. And so I just think that, that we, th last year was a reminder, one, for us to have a little grace and mercy on ourselves and others. And, uh, and also to never forget uh, the power of the mind and how strong we are as people and, and how creative we really are. And so it's a whole nother there. We did a wonderful job of this at our time with the Vikings. We had a whole, what we call just a creativity think room and area where people can drop their ideas and it sprouted a lot of businesses and ideas. And that's something when we open back up at the Big Ten, I'm gonna do there. I think we just need, so many times in college athletics, we're just taught you know, from an institutional knowledge standpoint, this is how it's been done. Just do it that way, which is great. But also, especially with the talent of all of our young people, is for us to create that creativity and, and, and almost empower it. So that's something I'm looking forward to once we can get back together, just to what did we learn from last year and what are the things we can do? One of the things I said before I came in, and, and I, it just reminded me last week that I would love to do and planning on doing it, is, is there a way, and not is there a way, how do we make it happen where we have our men's and women's tournament at the same time? Kind of like mm -hmm. in high school. You know, I remember, wouldn't it be awesome to have our two semifinals games, a women's game, a men's game, a women's game, a men's game, and then have a championship Sunday where we have a women's game and the, and the men's game. Um, and because I was in Indianapolis, I saw 26 games in five days. I went to every women's game. And I went to every men's game. Now, some I'd have to leave at halftime. And I'd been sitting there saying, why can't we have it in the, in the same shared space? to be able to do it. And I think those are things that we have to do to empower uh, all of our sports, but especially our women's sports. And, and instead of being judgmental with some of the things that have happened at the tournament, I mean, as a conference leader, we just need to take control of it and start bringing these, you know, together. Cause there's so many gifted athletes from a men and women standpoint, but those are the things that, but for COVID probably maybe would have, we would have thought about and activated five years from now, but now it's something that I'm already planning on to make it happen next year. Wow. Um, and Win Wintrust could be a sponsor. I mean, that's that's how we're running it. Why not? Why yeah. not? <laughs> that's right. Um, is, that, is that Kevin? Is that your way of saying you were going to bring the the Big Ten tournament to Chicago? Absolutely. We're you know we're coming back in twenty three. But but you know I've I've thought about it. I was in Notre Dame for our hockey, and I was thinking you know what can we do with the Blackhawks to have a whole day of you know day of hockey? We're all the way from sports and pee wees all the way up to the. Blackouts, you know, our pro hockey teams and our footprint with our college. I mean, I just think what this has shown, just like this panel, is that we're all dealing with the same issues. They just have different names on them, regardless of the sports, and that we just need to figure out a way to be able to work together and create that opportunity where one plus one equals 75 instead of two. It's amazing the um, what you can get out of the young people, especially coming out of this and what, what they've experienced. And a lot of times you said earlier, what, well, this is the way I always used to do This is the way I always used to do it. And if you listen to young people, boy, you get some great ideas, I'll tell you. Yeah, right, right. The ones in the front of the line, they're great. Yeah, yeah. Um, 